Hello everybody, I'm John Evans, and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for tuning in. It's the first Monday of the month, which most of you know. That means we will reveal what you can win for free at the end of this episode. All you have to do to win, be a subscriber of this channel and comment on this video by Saturday, midnight Pacific, and you will be put in the running to win what you'll see at the end of this video. And trust me, you're going to want to win this. A lot of speculation about what this month's prize is. So uh, stick around for that. We've got a great thrift store haul to get to today. And starting with this item, which is near and dear to my heart, this thrift store item. <sighs> Look at this. This is a Lazy Susan with great pop art. Optic art, not really optic art, mod kind of look. Uh, this is late 60s Rubbermaid. Boy, I'm a fan of vintage Rubbermaid. Some people put Yeti stickers on their car. I have a giant Rubbermaid uh, sticker on my, the back of my Ford F-150 window. Rubbermaid, I just lock it. Um, this is 50 cents. This did not have a price on it. I brought it up to the front and I said, this does not have a price on it. And she said, how about 50 cents? at the Habitat Home Store. And I was like, yes. Because this is about 18 bucks. I'll sell this for 18 bucks. As you can see, conditionally great. It's got a little yellowing on the underneath. Not, a, not an issue. 18 bucks all day long off of 50 cents. What a start. Next thing I found, staying in the late 60s, maybe early 70s, I found these cool plastic mushroom salt and pepper shakers for four dollars at the queen city indoor flea market there in cumberland maryland four bucks and uh, this is i've never seen these before they both have the stoppers in there this is worth about 18 bucks believe it or not mushroom stuff still so hot i've never seen a space age looking mushroom salt and pepper shaker but i dig them next thing i found now, I love cute stuff. People buy cute stuff like crazy. And doesn't get much cuter than this. This raccoon squirrel combo set. Uh, this is made some kind of weird lightweight resin composite. It is not. Looks like it's carved wood, but it isn't. These were a buck ninety-nine a piece at the Salvation Army in Pittsburgh. I don't even hate that price. A buck ninety nine a piece is anything less is you're you know you're besmirching the name of the raccoon and squirrel kingdom, but these were two bucks each. I'm gonna sell them for twenty two for the pair, and I'll get it because look at how freaking cute these two kids are with their plastic flowers and the and the hope in their eyes. Next thing I found. Now, someone commented recently about, do I ever find fairy lamps? Fairy lamps? What is that? That is a lamp that is illuminated uh, via candlelight. And uh, they made all kinds of different ones. I sold a owl fairy lamp uh, that I put on one of my episodes uh, for like almost $80. This one is not that nice. But as you can see, it's got no chips and cracks got a good amber color to it and these are very hot and these sell for around $35 the better the color the more the price this is like the third tier color behind orange and green I would say but still a pretty nice find I found this for three dollars at a ladies uh garage sale there in uh Grantsville Maryland holy mackerel three bucks to 35 all right, next thing I found, and I didn't want to pay this for it, but sometimes you got to pay. I found eight of these for 20 bucks. Now, does not have a manufacturer on there. Hard to say who made these. So many companies were making glass like this in the 60s, but these are definitely 60s. And what you want to look for is that the color is not faded on the paint. This gold gets very faded if you put it through the wash. Put it through the washing machine, and what do you think is going to happen? It gets faded over time. These were taken care of. Eight of these is a great number. You know, that's the bigger the number, the more you can sell it for. 
I'll sell these for 48 bucks. I'll make $28 off of a $20 set of glasses. Would I have liked to have found these for 10 bucks? Yes, but that's just not in the cards sometimes. All right, we're down to our last couple things. First one, found at Christian Crossing, Oakland, Maryland. Fine thrift store. I found this huge cabinet. It's like a vanity, right? You've got the uh, you've got the Miro right there, and you've got these drawers right there. And uh, this was seven dollars, and this is handmade, probably like seventies handmade, based on the uh, the wear on the towel rack and uh, the way it looks on the back. I'm not going to spin it around, but it's old. And for seven dollars, I can hang this on the wall in my booth for 68 bucks and wait for the right person to come along and go man i like that big cabinet and i'll make about 60 bucks off of this one item that i found for seven at christian crossing how about that all right we're down to our last item oh and uh, we're gonna go off tripod for this this is an incredible find uh, I love chairs, okay? And I found some great chairs. Now, these are outdoor chairs, but a legendary outdoor chair. I think every person watching has probably sat in one of these bad boys. Look at these tubular plastic vintage chairs. All the foot, all the little footing parts there, the wood... And there was four, two tan, two green. You can see them in the back. And these were $7 a piece. $14 total for these perfect condition, zero flaws, green and tan outdoor chairs. Now these were made by a company called the Telescope Furniture Company telescope furniture it's underneath the armrest and these sell uh in the 50 to 75 dollar range per chair and i paid half of yeah, that's another thing this was the half price day the only time i've ever seen them do it it was so they were 350 a piece i paid 14 dollars total 14 for I'm not even going to, you, you saw what they look like. You can rewind. But uh, these sell, people ask $75 per chair online. And uh, I'm not going to ship these. I'm going to do Facebook Marketplace on these. I'm going to ask $200 and I will make $200 off of $14. Bucks. Whew. Totality. Let's look at the total. I spent $52.50. 52.50 when it's all said and done through my booths facebook marketplace i'm gonna make 411 dollars 350 profit not bad for a guy who wasn't always doing this for a living so uh, i still don't do it just for a living i it's it's nice to it's a nice thing to have in your back pocket you know i'm at thrift stores anyway looking for stuff that i collect why not make some money while i'm there all right let's get to what you can win everybody and thanks for watching remember to hit like because i'm giving this to some lucky mid mod money viewer the little girl with the frame her pushing her face through the frame with all of her fingers perfect condition probably early 70s could be late 60s those big eyes kind of maybe say late 60s but i don't know for sure unmarked but very cool, and all you have to do, subscribe, comment, and I'll send that to you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Hit like, subscribe, and remember, always round up.